though the house and grounds of our home in India were grandfather's domain, the magnificent old banyan tree was mine, chiefly because grandfather at the age of 65 could no longer climb it. Grandmother used to tease him about this and would speak of a certain Countess of Desmond, an English woman who lived to the age of 117 and would have lived longer if she hadn't fallen while climbing an apple tree. The spreading branches of the banyan tree which curved to the ground and took root again forming a maze of arches gave me endless pleasure. The tree was older than the house, older than grandfather, as old as the town of Dehra nestling in a valley at the foot of the Himalayas. My first friend and familiar was a small grey squirrel. Arching his back and sniffing into the air, he seemed at first to resent my invasion of his privacy. But when he found that I did not arm myself with a catapult or a gun, he became friendlier and when I started leaving him pieces of cake and biscuit, he grew bolder and finally became familiar enough to take food from my hands. Before long, he was delving into my pockets and helping himself to whatever he could find. He was a very young squirrel and his friends and relatives probably thought him headstrong and foolish for trusting a human. In the spring, when the banyan tree was full of small red figs, birds of all kinds would flock into its branches. The red bottomed bulbul, cheerful and greedy, gossiping rosy pastures, parrots and crows squabbling with each other all the time. During the fig season, the banyan tree was the noisiest place on the road.